Hello everyone and welcome back to Book Time with Elvis with me, Mark. And welcome, of course, if you are joining us for the first time. So, I have another edition of a Friday Freebie for you. And this week it is a book. Um, I've just read a book by a chap called Earl de Biggers. You might know him as the author of the Charlie Chan books. Uh, the book I just read was called uh, The Agony Column. And you can download it for free uh, from Project Gutenberg. You can actually download it for, for free from uh, Amazon, actually, as well. So that's really good. Uh, it was published in 1916. It was uh, set in 1914. And it was a jolly good read. It's really a novella. It's uh, just around 100 and something pages. Not very big at all. It's a very quick read and a very fun read. Uh, it follows uh, this American gentleman who is uh, on a trip to London and uh, he likes breakfasting every morning at this particular hotel because they can get hold of strawberries every time of the year uh, even if they're not in season and um, he has a big bowl of strawberries for his breakfast and he likes to sit down and read the papers the two papers he reads in particular are uh, the Times and the Daily Mail uh, and he particularly likes the Daily Mail for the agony column which apparently is a concept unknown in America at the time where uh, lovelorn Brits uh, put messages to each other within the column. So, for example, some gentleman might see a lady at a train station and he will say something like, um, you know, tall gentleman with brown hat uh, seeks acquaintance of uh, pretty girl wearing orange dress uh, holding Tatler magazine uh, last Thursday afternoon at 3 o'clock at Victoria Station or something like that. And uh, he likes reading these and kind of seeing the, the responses uh, from each day. And while he's sitting there reading this, um, this woman comes, an American woman, with her father, and she's also carrying a copy of the Daily Mail. And uh, she's he overhears her talking to her father, saying how much she enjoys the agony column. He finds her very attractive, so he decides to send her a message to the agony column. And... Um, what happens then is she she replies, but she says, um, "Yes, I will agree to you know make your acquaintance if you will write me a letter every night for seven every day for seven days uh, to demonstrate how interesting you are and whether it's worth my time meeting you." So he starts by relaying the story of how he got to London, how he met this mysterious Englishman in Austria who gave him a letter of introduction to present when he got back to London, and. Uh, this happened in the past. By the time he comes to write the uh, the, the second letter, the uh, man who he gave the letter of introduction, who happens to live uh, upstairs uh, where the American is uh, staying, um, ends up getting murdered. And uh, the American gentleman hears everything, and he gets involved in this rather interesting tale. I won't say any more because I don't want to spoil it, but it is my uh, recommendation for you if you would like a quick uh, read, an exciting uh, mystery, then why not check out The Agony Column by Earl de Biggers. And as I say, all links for downloading it you can find down below. So thank you very much for your time and for watching, and I shall see you all again very soon. Bye for now. Better, 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 better.